to call saving. And we're going to be seeing Fury versus Mouse Riot, Pikachu versus Captain Falcon, of course, starting over onto uh, PS2. And the thing that I mentioned earlier before we even got on comms is that like we're going to likely be seeing... Uh, you know what? No, we're not. I was going to say Fury might struggle to hit Pikachu just because of how small Pikachu is. We saw it a little bit earlier in Ishtar versus Pikachu, or Ishtar versus Mouse Rat. Um, but no, uh, Fury has decided that I'm wrong, actually, and that we're going to get a clean 40% off of Pikachu right at the beginning. Yeah, honestly, I think just kind of the way that Pikachu... Ooh. <gasps> oh. Take a shot. I was <laughs> Take say, a shot. <laughs> the way that I think, you know, Pikachu can play, especially in a, like, against a very explosive character like Falcon, yeah. Mouse Rat can, if he wants, you know, really take control of the pace of the game. You know, he can, you know, play campy the way that Pikachu can, or he can just go in and explode Falcon because, you know, Falcon's a little bit exploitable off stage, and Pikachu is very much not. But being a stock down after a weird interaction off stage, Master might have to get a little bit more aggressive now. But Yikes. Fury is the one putting on the aggression. Both players going into the, with the extremely committal options, and Fury coming out of the, that exchange in the lead Ooh. by uh, about two stocks. Now Master Rat having a now actually having a, a really hard time what? coming in the way that he wants. There's no way. Hey, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm about yeah, to you're say. You're Pikachu. You're, you're, you come back from anything. We, we saw the first stock. We saw the first stock. Well, what happened? Kay. And we were like, what happened? You're Pikachu. So, again, Mouse Rat. You have to remember that he's Pikachu. Did you remember he's Pikachu? He used to recover very well and getting a great thunder right in the air. Finally, taking the first stock off of, off of Fury. But Mouse Rat has a little bit of a hill to climb because Fury does have a whole lot of extra credit to play with and a whole extra stock as well. Right, so let's see now. Kind of returning to neutral. If you're looking for that down air opener, just looking Ooh. for a big ass smash. Wouldn't have killed anyone across the stage like that, but definitely would have made a, a send a message. Yeah, this is the, this is kind of lead that Mouse Rat wants right now, making sure not to get any extra damage on themselves as they rack up more percentage on Fury. Now, what Pikachu's probably is looking to be looking for is trying to get Captain Falcon where he's uncomfortable, where he's off the stage and on the ledge, just like where, how Mouse Rat is keeping great, really great ledge control and not getting the dare, unfortunately. Yeah, you can really see Mouse Rat start to identify their win condition, which is getting the Falcon off stage and, you know, poking with T-Jolt so he just can't make it back. But there we go, Fury does make it back to the ledge once again, gets another opener looking for an air dodge read, not finding it. Gentlemen now putting Mouse Rat off stage. But that that quick attack is so obnoxious sometimes that you just get tagged by it. All right, another gentleman set, resetting the situation. See if Fury can close it out this time. I don't this know who you're needing. Yeah, this is definitely the game of the ledges. Who can keep ledge control? And for, for a hot second, it was Mouse Rat. A little bit of clank going in for the jab. Nothing else coming off of that, unfortunately. And Ooh. huge punish, unfortunately oh. not often to go for a like the an, an air um, attack rather than staying neutral, uh, staying on the ground. I think Master Rat had already committed to jumping, and just mm -hmm. the wild air drift that Falcon gets after up being, Master Rat just wasn't ready to react. Dash attack not going to do it quite yet, or even really oh, close. Oh, that definitely that absolutely will. will. This is really good for Master Rat, although we're at 108 percent, and <laughs> Fury just coming down straight with uh, with some vengeance, wanting to clean, end this stock as fast as oh, they can. Oh no, and. Like, this is kind of what I was talking about, is, you know, once Mouse Rat is able to start setting the pace and, you know, making Fury not able to really get those big openers, then he can start setting the pace. And we can already see, you know, even stocks. Fury kind of swinging a little bit, just trying to find this stock <gasps> with a random thing, but a great That's it. F smash conversion. Oh, nah. no, great. Forget Falcon's that, got the drift. That drift go insane. Back throw, go to the back throw. Maybe? Absolutely not no. quite, though. We're going to be going right into the air. One more up there might actually do it. Ooh, gotta oh, be careful it. with these side beats. Whoa! Oh! A dash dance. Nice. Love the low, the low movement we saw right there. Little dash dance is making sure to kind of That's figure out gonna their do it. spacing in order to get the nice up B kill. You cannot give Falcon an out of shield right next to you when he's in, when you're in like up B percentages. Yeah, no. That'll grab you from so far away. See right here. Yeah, just landed with a T jolt. And you got, got caught right into that out of shield up B. Or up B out of shield. I almost said backwards. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> what, happened, what happened in this first stock? Okay, let's see. I right, used your double jump, got clipped uh, by the up air. Oh, oh no. Didn't use I think yeah. what happened was Mass Rat tried to go like at an angle upward first and then straight left. 
but changed changed his angle a little bit too early, so he just went straight left. And then that's and it. And then couldn't he didn't get the second up B. Unfortunate, really unfortunate. But hopefully, next game we'll be seeing uh, Mouse Strike keep that game a little more even. I mean, he almost brought it back. I can't yeah. even lie. You brought almost brought it back. Uh, it's just the unfortunate just Lamex uh, Falcon and Shield. That's an all mag free up B. Yeah, and I mean, look at the percentages too. Ninety-two percent on Fury. Mouse Rat was living to one fifty. I just grabs you, just throws you yeah. into oblivion. So I I feel like Fury's got to kind of be careful coming into this game too. Because, like, you got a little bit lucky with that first stock, so. We're stretching the hands. Always yeah. stretch your wrists. Got to avoid that carpal tunnel. No, for real. <laughs> carpal tunnel would be kind of crazy. Going over to Smash Throw instead. All right. So already just setting right back up at ledge. Kind of where the whole set's been played is at these intense ledge scenarios both both players really just kind of want to get the other off stage asap they don't want to deal with middle of the stage neutral great by fury keeping your jump yeah as you see no one's really opting to take control of center stage but i think falcon will really want that uh where that little platform is falcon's gonna really be useful in the centers of, of the stage however master is just like nah we're gonna play on a ledge where i am comfortable where i know i can really get you while you're recovering so definitely a good choice on Mouse Rat. Ooh. Unfortunately, not getting a Thunder Kill. I cannot believe Mouse Rat was able to air dodge from the center platform over to the ledge. That's insane. And just a neutral air dodge there, getting Mouse Rat out that time. Only, okay, I was going to say only 39% on Mouse Rat, but Fury did get an opener, not finding too much out of it. And mm. Mouse Rat with the F smash says, stop mashing. I know you're Falcon. I know you want to mash, but you stop You want to do it so it. bad. You can't what do are you oh, doing? What is You're this? goofy. The commit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a commitment because it's Pikachu. Pikachu it's true. comes back from wherever. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was it's fine. Goofy. You were. It's goofy behavior, deranged behavior. Like, it, it's it's giving. I'm Pikachu. I can do whatever I want off stage. All right, but Master Rat will be taking yep. stock one. Only fifty percent now. Seventy. To, to Fury, oh, that was oh, nice. Not finding not the knee afterward. Yeah, only getting the short hop. Not able to close out an edge guard either. Means Master Rat gets more chance to just nickel and dime you with these you know, wow, back airs. Wow, lovely so tech difficult. chases. Hello. Yeah, and it, it felt like Fury, I mean, even near the end of game one, Fury was just kind of mashing for the stock a lot, I think. Just kind of these random up smashes or F smashes. Yeah. Until finally was kind of handed a situation in which he could just up B out of shield. But we're going to see right now an edge guard potential. But no, that no, smash no. throw platform means Mass Rat is long gone. F throw. Yeah, I, definitely throw definitely see the, I, def I definitely see the appeal for Mouse Rat using uh, smash throw rather than, you know, some about feel right or going back to PS2. You have the option to just, like we, we we saw earlier, air dashing right from the right from the platform down to the ledge, safely uh, returning back to the platform from the ledge with uh, with Uppy. You have a lot of really good recovery options and safe options on um, on oh Smashville as Pikachu, and you have all these chase options as well, right. like that we're seeing right now with Browse Right. Yeah, no, Mouse Rat has just nice. gotten all of the mobility. All right, that time. Mouse Rat tried nice to read the version. double jump after Fury did it the last time, but just barely got out of the way of the Thundercloud. Not able to find a stage spike there. Wasted your double jump, but you do get it back. Opting for up throw. This and should... game of fair? No, no good DI yet. by Fury, but really can't uh, survive anything else. I've, most of Pikachu's options right now will kill. Yeah, you can already yep, see Mouse Rat going for the dash attack, but finds the F smash instead. Fury still has to find Mouse Rat's first stock. Yeah, what Fury really has to focus on right now what is taking control of that center stage. We're seeing most of these kills from Mouse Rat on, off the ledge, or uh, there a lot of the combos for Mouse Rat are happening on the ledge where Falcon can't really do too much unless he gets thrown off the stage and you're like, ah, oh, I'm stuck. So Fury, that feels like Fury has like more control of that center stage. Yeah, and that platform as well. It, it's kind of like, you know, part of defining your win condition is you really don't want Mouse Rat to get his win condition, which right now, Mouse Rat's win condition is put Fury off stage. Mm -hmm. And he's been doing that consistently. And it's like, I know that, you know, Falcon can get decent 
edge guards. Uh, he's got good coverage, he but very. Mouse Rat has just been ready for every angle. I feel like Mouse Rat's made it back to center stage almost every time he's put off stage. Mm -hmm. Down there, not, not really getting you anything. Nice. Oh, quick mash in. That's the that's the mash check F smash. Nah, that was that was bait bait out like just jabbing on off a ledge uh, against the edge where um, Falcon was trying to recover, and then just scoot back a little bit to get that forward smash, knowing that Falcon was like he's gonna uh, get up attack and just go right into the forward smash. Let me see again. Hold on. Yeah, Here we the... go. Okay, recovering. Oh no! Yeah, went in for the up, up there. air. Came in with the up air and then tried to land on stage after the fact as well. Instead of going back to... Was afraid of a re-grab situation. Mm -hmm. All right, it looks like small battlefield is our counter pick of choice for Captain Falcon. So, gonna be leaving the center platform of Smashville off the table. Maybe hoping to kind of limit... Uh, limit Mass Rat's mobility across the entire stage. Yeah. The way that he had in Smashville as well as the two like small battlefield platforms potentially going to be helping Fury find more ways back into center stage because that's where, you know, the ledge is just where Fury got just destroyed in game two. Mm -hmm. This should give Fury a lot more op recovery options as well now that the, the platforms are closer to the ledge. And just and some hesitation right there after Fury got the down, the down air. He wasn't quite sure how to follow up on it. Maybe this one? No, no knee. Continuously misses the dare to knee. But we do have even percentages right now, so starting to see a little bit of life coming out from Fury. Great air dodge past the forward air. Onto a back throw, keeping Fury off ledge as usual, and not getting the dare off of that either, and both characters really fighting off the stage for a second there. I, I would not contest Pikachu off the of, like, ledge like that. Yeah, like, especially when you're playing Falcon, who has very limited resources off stage, it's like, you want to pick your battles carefully. And if you're throwing dares at the ledge every time against Pikachu, then you're just giving Mouse Rat more chances to get back into center stage and, you know, really start messing you up again. Great delay right there by Fury, not getting caught by the down air. But these players, oh, Ooh, but some bad... Yeah, some bad DI. I think Fury was still DIing in after throwing out the back air, which means you're just exploding from dash attack, which why is Pikachu dash attack a kill move in this game? What? <laughs> there we Ooh. go. Thinking about to even very, very, fairly quickly. Yep, seeing some life coming out from Fury now. Oh, no, you wasted like your double jump. Oh, back I air. think... Might have been saved by Mouse Rat. I don't think Fury was dead by not my, any means, but I think it was easy to recover from that height. Yeah, now absolutely. That, oh, you're oh, dead. Bye. No. That was my curse. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know about that air dodge. I don't think back air would have put you in a position where you would have had to tech. So that's just, you know, kind of an awareness thing. Oh, no. The back air is coming out again. And this is what, this is what Pikachu's looking for. Pikachu's Hello? looking for. Wow, there's a humongous commitment. Just Hello? waiting. I, I love the way. Just, just, we're going to hang on a ledge on, on the edge of the platform, and we're going to wait, and we're going to get out in the meantime. Oh, Mouse Rat still caught the T-Jolt after, you know, sending three out. Fury just wasn't ready for the third one. That's the no mix-up mix-up. They'll never expect the third one. Me. That's my strategy. They will never think I'm stupid to do the sixth time. <laughs> All right. Another back air putting Fury off stage. Did keep his double jump after getting hit by the T-Jolt. Not finding the up smash, though. Yeah, Fury taking a lot more of a sweet time running away from wherever Mousetrap might have an opening against him because wherever Pikachu has that opening, he'll take it and give you 40% for no for nothing, literally existing. So just like that, you might get a little more options. Oh, instead of going Get for a fucking dive. Okay. And Ooh. just down to... Okay, we see you. We see you. Do it again. That was good recognition by Fury, recognizing that Mousetrap wasn't able to stay on, on that ledge for very long. Ooh, not getting anything out of the back air. I think he would have been able to get a grab. I don't know if that's true at zero, but... Good. Good, good reading the what, what was going to happen, like the get, what we saw in the second game, the constant uh, jab on ledge, backtracking to forward smash. Just completely avoiding that whole situation would have cost the entire stock. 
Fury playing a much more patient game once more, one where I death percentage. That's not gonna do absolutely not. I really not. love the way that Fury is like dash dancing further away from Mouse Rat than he has been previously in the set. You know, recognizing, oh, you're, you're fine. Uh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're Falcon, you're heavy. Recognizing you're that, you know, Falcon has the speed, you know, more than most characters that you should be able to make it into uh -oh. Uh -oh. some openings, uh -oh. but oh, uh oh, oh. Uh -oh. You're stuck. Oh, You're stuck. You were stuck. So unfortunate. So the pattern was just going to keep happening forever. Yeah. I think Fury had the right idea. He did have to kind of delay it, weave around mm -hmm. it a little bit. He did recognize that just holding back tor or holding towards the ledge and mashing the uppie wasn't getting him anywhere. Mm -mm. But And then turned around yeah, and just... Went a little too far. Couldn't make it back. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, that was that was definitely some bad DI on that dash attack. What's this one? Oh, he's there. Yeah, the that was just <laughs> Fury telling Master Rat he's having too much fun. It's like a backhand to the face. Like get Back out of here. That's like when a like there's a fly flying around you and you just swing just and back ram <laughs> randomly at it. Like, and you just, <laughs> <laughs> it's that feeling when the like. You finally get the fly after so long. You just get that like catharsis. The the best thing, like, you know, not not I'm talking about flies. So like, first yeah. of all, the best way to kill a fly is with an like, extension of some 